So, that wig that you lost, sis, that flew off your head on that roller coaster, I saw you, sis. You thought it was holding onto that cap. You might have thought you did something, but it's going with the wind, and we don't even know what happened to it. Did you ever find it, sis? Let me know in the comments if you found your wig. Hey y'all, welcome back. We have all lost a wig. I mean, even the real one, sis. I was walking down the aisles of Trader Joe's, had a fit of laughter, threw my head back a little too far, and guess what happened? That wig was seconds from hitting the ground, but someone caught it for me, okay? Grace, okay? We are thankful. But if you are someone who is on the market for a lace glue that works, you're tired of like, you know, having to reinstall your unit every, what, two to three days, you might want to consider the Kiss Almighty Bonds Lace Glue. It's a problem, sis, but in a good way. It's waterproof, it's sweatproof. Let me just tell you something. I did the pull test on this. So let me tell you something. Share this video with your homeboys and your homegirls. No wig horror stories 2021. I used this three different times, three different installs, three different removals to make sure that I could give you guys the tea, okay? So make sure you check out the description box if you wanna get your hands on this. And let me tell you something, spoiler alert, you might want to get your hands on this sooner rather than later okay and it's also at your local beauty supply store but without further ado i'm not going to hold you make sure you stay tuned because this is about to get real as for the star of the show it's the kiss almighty bond lace glue and this is going to change the wig application game this product is unlike any other you've seen this dual applicator features a precision tip that offers accuracy for your installs, and it also has a silicone tip that evenly distributes and spreads the product. I'm telling you, the versatility with this is top tier. Look at how evenly the product dispenses from the nozzle. You guys know how I am. When I wanna give you the tea, I have to attempt things multiple times so that I can ensure you I'm giving you the best results and information possible. So I toggle between using the precision tip and the silicone tip to see which works best for me because I'm trying to figure out my comfort zone with the new product. And I urge you guys to do the same because number one, I was not trying to destroy my hair in the process. So again, I'm gonna test as many times as I need to so that I feel confident. Now for the third and final attempt, I'm going to be using some ultra sheer pantyhose. These are perfect for the ball cap method. If you want a seamless finish, go get it. And as always, you want to cleanse and sanitize the area in which you are going to apply the lace glue to make sure that you have the best adhesion possible. And you guys can probably see that line of demarcation, that brown mark. And that just lets me know I don't want any product to go beyond that line. So ideally, that is where the front edge of my wig will be sitting. Now slide those sheer pantyhose into place. And then you want to cut very tiny slits near the ear, super tiny, so that they lay close to the curvature of the ear and you don't have to worry about you know the stocking cap flipping up around the area of the ears that's the most tricky part so again super tiny slits in the pantyhose so that you can just ever so gently just move the stocking around your ear so that the cap lays flat now I'm going in with the silicone tip and as you guys can see, I've applied very light pressure. I'm not going in as heavy because honestly, you don't need to. This glue is super effective. When it goes on, it is guaranteed to stick. It dries down clear, like give it a minute. And again, I'm taking my time with this, dispensing the product, and I'm able to spread it evenly. Around the area of my ears, I will dispense a bit more product, just applying a bit more pressure to the tube so that I can make sure that I apply adequate amounts of the glue around the ears because this is the most cumbersome part of the install. Now I'm going to go in with my blow dryer, toggling between both the cool setting and the medium heat setting. You can stay on cool, but again, I was experimenting and I actually like doing this. And my core focus is to target that cool air or the heat on the area of the ear tabs. I applied a bit more product so it'll take a little bit longer for it to dry down. Now after blow drying it I let it set for about three to five minutes and then I'm going in to remove the excess portion of the cap. 
okay take your time with this but you guys can see look how thin this material is this is what your ball cap method should look like this is superb sis and it's like matching seamlessly with my skin and you see how i don't have any of the cap flipping up near my ear tabs that is what we want. So now it's time to go in with another layer of alcohol to cleanse and sanitize the area and remove that line of demarcation. Now I'm going in with the second layer of glue, but I wanna say I'm dispensing a little bit more product, applying a little bit more pressure to the tube, but notice that I have the opposite end closed. When you are dispensing this product from one end, you want to make sure the opposite end has the cap on it. You do not want it oozing out. So again, we're all about neatness. So whichever tip you're using make sure the opposite end is closed and secure you guys can see i keep like looking at the nozzle because let me just tell you something i don't want to dispense too much because just in my experience it's just better when you apply a thin amount you don't have to go crazy because when your glue works you shouldn't need excessive amounts okay so shout out to kiss on that one and as always i'm applying a bit more pressure to the tube around the area of the ear tabs because i just want to make sure that my wig is on grip okay and i'm following up with the blow dryer on the cool and warm settings and drop any questions you may have in the comments section because i know glue is scary sis okay i was scared through this entire process and i did a lot of research watched a lot of videos who chow i basically studied this product now i'm getting excited because it's time to slide that wig in place but let me tell you go slow Make sure that your ear tabs are in alignment before you bring it down. And as always, I'm going to focus on securing the middle of the lace front edge first, and then I'm going to worry about the sides and the ear tabs. Again, I want to make sure that the center is secure and in place and then position the ear tabs accordingly. And with the precision tip, I'm going in to touch up any areas that I may have missed and didn't, you know, apply adequate glue. So again, I love the precision tip. It's not messy, it's super neat, and you can you know, distribute the product and thin it out as you need to so you're not applying gunks of glue and it gets right under that lace. Now, I waited about two to three minutes before going in with the comb and the blow dryer. I don't want the comb sticking to the glue. It's just, it's extra mess I don't need. So I just made sure the glue was dry down enough and we went to work. Now you can't tell me this wig is not stuck. Look at her but we gonna keep going because we got a lot more to do. Okay, now for my favorite part, we have to do adult swoops. These are gonna be super subtle, taking out tiny pieces of hair. Now I gotta keep it real with you. I noticed when I did my adult swoops, you know, with attempts one and two, when I did it with mousse, I noticed a white residue or a white cast around the area of the lace front edge. So this is why I decided for my third install, I'm gonna go in with a clear gel. I highly advise using that. I'm still in the process of understanding why the mousse caused the white residue, but I wanted to tell you guys about that. You know, I like to share a few of my styling tips because I know you guys really appreciate them, but you know, we gotta use that back edge of that hot comb to slick everything in place, even if you aren't doing adult swoops. Like, this is a, a great step to use. And now to talk more about the white cast that I saw, because I wanna give you guys like a visual representation when I use the mousse to do my adult swoops. You guys can see this was attempt two and I noticed that white residue appears shortly after applying the mousse, but after about 20 minutes of allowing it to dry, it dried clear. After about five to 10 minutes, I went in to apply my elastic band and this is for that ultimate meltdown. I didn't wanna apply it directly after doing my adult swoops because I just like to space the steps apart. I find it makes it a lot easier, a lot neater and cleaner. And you know, with a little bit of magic, your girl had to beat that face and so I'm back. Now this is vintage pink, okay? I'm giving you classy retro pink. Wanted to do some curls, loving the blonde hair. The ombre is working for me. And the fact that my wig is not going anywhere, sis, this is all the reason to celebrate. Now you see the laces on grip. I'm flying through the hair with this wide tooth comb, no shifting of any sort. But don't worry, we're gonna do that pull test. You just wait. And are y'all feeling my curls like, let me know your thoughts. It's short, it's sassy, it's classy, it's it's so me. Like, oh. 
And now for that pull test, I wanted to pull the wig upward and then I also wanted to pull near the sides, near the ear tabs. Now I will tell you after doing the pull test, I noticed there was a bit of white residue that appeared. Again, I'm still trying to figure out why that happened. So I just went in with a little bit of foundation just to add a little bit of color. If you have a lace tint, you can use that. But girl, look at this wig. This look is sitting, okay? And trust me, I slept in my wig and this is the next day. This is what she's giving. There's no lifting that you may find if you use a spray or a gel. So let me just tell you something. This wig is on stuck and we love it. Highly recommend it. Now, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about the glue, drop it in the comment section. And definitely, again, share this with your homeboys and your homegirls. We want to save friends in 2021. And make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here. And also, uh, just kick it with me in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. And take care.